May 22 or 26, getting my workout done. Let's go. You just enlisted, so I don't really care. <laughs> Um, and where are you from? Oh, uh, Ketchikan, Alaska. And then, uh, what did you sign up as? I signed up for National Guard as an infantry. How was the process? Process? At first, like, the maps were, like, hard, but it'll, it'll, it'll be good when everything is, like, okay. That's my goal. Um, probably just their experience. A leader. Do you think you'll you, you think you'll do this for uh, for twenty years or uh, probably yeah. probably yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna hold you accountable now that it's on video. <laughs> Day three. Today, we're going to cover the enlisted pay grade and rank structure. Pay grades are used to determine wages of service members. There are three pay grades in the armed forces, enlisted, warrant officer, and officer. Rank provides a structure that determines a soldier's responsibility, expertise, and authority within an organization. As an enlisted soldier myself, we are the workhorse of the army. We follow the orders of the officers that are appointed over us. There are nine pay grades and 13 ranks within the enlisted force. Privates to specialists are considered junior soldiers and a good comparison to them would be your apprentices. E1, private, abbreviated as PVT, addressed as private, is the most junior rank in the army. E2, private second class, abbreviated as PV2, addressed as private, is the second most junior rank in the Army. E3, private first class, abbreviated as PFC, addressed as private, has some experience and most likely have completed all of his initial entry training. Corporal to Staff Sergeant. They are considered the junior non-commissioned officers. A duty of an NCO or a non-commissioned officer does not change. Their duty is to take care of their soldiers. What does change are their responsibilities and sphere of influence. E4, Corporal, abbreviated as CPL, addressed as Corporal. Corporal serves as a team leader of the smallest army units. A corporal is responsible for the soldier within his team, all the way from the team's personal appearance to their tactical knowledge. E5, sergeant, abbreviated as SGT, addressed as sergeant, 
Similar to the corporal, sergeants directly serves as a team leader for a four-man team. They are the first line leaders and has the most direct impact to their soldiers. E6 Staff Sergeant, abbreviated as SSG, addressed as Sergeant, are the subject matter expert of their squad's capabilities. A Staff Sergeant has a bigger sphere of influence compared to the other junior NCOs. Sergeant First Class to Sergeant Major of the Army generally referred as senior NCOs, as they carry increasing levels of responsibilities, in turn demand greater levels of respect. E7 Sergeant First Class, abbreviated as SFC, addressed as Sergeant. Sergeant First Class plays a vital and significant role within a platoon. A Sergeant First Class serves as a key advisor to a young lieutenant. Both the Sergeant First Class and the lieutenant are responsible to their assigned platoon. E8 Master Sergeant, abbreviated as MSG, addressed as Master Sergeant. Master Sergeant is a principal NCO that deals with the operational portion of an organization. E8 First Sergeant, abbreviated as 1SG, addressed as First Sergeant, is the most senior NCO within a company. Similar to a Sergeant First Class, a First Sergeant gives advice and assists the company commander in running the unit at a company level. E9 Sergeant Major, abbreviated as SGM, addressed as Sergeant Major. Sergeant Majors are the subject matter expert in his or her technical field. They support and assist officers at the battalion level. E9 Command Sergeant Major, abbreviated as CSM, addressed as Command Sergeant Major. Command Sergeant Majors are the most senior NCOs within a battalion or higher level. A Command Sergeant Major's counsel is expected to be calm, settled, and accurate. E9 Sergeant Major of the Army, abbreviated as SMA, addressed as Sergeant Major of the Army. There is only one Sergeant Major of the Army. The Sergeant Major of the Army serves as the senior enlisted advisor and consultant to the Chief of Staff of the Army. The non-commissioned officer corps is the backbone of the Army. As a non-commissioned officer, we uphold the standards. We are technically and tactically proficient. We are competent. We get the job done. Hey, thanks for watching. That was day three. Um, if you like what you saw, please like, share, and comment on what you learned about our topic, the enlisted pay grade and rank structure. Uh, this is Team Apolinar, and until tomorrow, thank you.